anatomy of breast we will study in this video the location of breast the things the organs that are beneath it their relation with breast the structure of breast the blood supply of breast that includes arterial supply and venous supply of breast the lymphatics lymph nodes of breast and the nerve supply of breast introduction breasts are located in the pectoral region where there is the pectoral fascia number 2 they are in the subcutaneous tissue overlying the pectoralis major and minor muscles they are in the subcutaneous tissue they are specialized accessory glands of skin skin that secrete milk they sub their blood supply and lymphatic drainage is largely into the armpit location of breasts breasts rest on bed of the breast that extends on the pectoral region horizontally from a uh, lateral border of sternum to the mid axillary line and vertically from second to sixth ribs two thirds of this bed is formed by the fascia overlying the pectoralis major that is the pectoral fascia and one third is formed by the fascia overlying the serratus anterior structures under the breast deep relations of the breast we will study from superficial to deep just beneath the breast is the retromammary space retromammary space is also known as lake of marsali it is a bursa that separates the breast tissue from the underlying pectoral fascia this separation allows the breast to be freely mobile and not attached to the pectoral fascia beneath the retromammary space is the pectoral fascia and beneath the pectoral fascia is the pectoralis major serratus anterior and external oblique muscle on respective sides structure of breast breast is composed of three structures skin parenchyma that is the functional part and stroma that is the connective tissue part number 1 skin the most superficial part of the breast that comprises of nipple and areola nipple is the conical projection and areola is the pigmented area around the nipple nipple is pierced by 15 to 20 lactiferous ducts and areola is rich in modified spacious glands that produce a secretion called sebum number 2 parenchyma parenchyma is the functional tissue of the breast so it is composed of mammary glands this glandular tissue of the breast secretes the milk and it is composed of 15 to 20 lobes third one is stroma it is the supporting tissue of the breast it is composed of fibrous stroma and fatty stroma Fibrous stroma is the connective tissue that is also called suspensory ligaments of Cooper. It divides the breast tissue into different compartments uh, as a septa. It acts as a septa. This supports the lobes of the breast and also gives firm attachment to the dermis of the underlying breast. Now, fatty stroma forms the main bulk of the gland. It is fat. Note, an important note. A part of the breast extends along the inferior lateral border of the pectoralis major and goes towards the axillary fossa or armpit. This forms a tail of the breast. This tail is called axillary process of breast or tail of spans. Now we will discuss the arterial supply of breast. Before discussing arterial supply and specific branches, remember, breast is supplied by two basic origins, subclavian artery and the thoracic aorta. And subclavian arteries, the branches medial and lateral branches, lateral thoracic, medial branches of internal thoracic arteries, both are originating from the subclavian artery. And then, first, the artery behind the clavicle is called subclavian artery because it is behind the clavicle. Then it goes towards the axilla and is called axillary artery. Then it goes towards the arm further and it is called brachial artery. The medial branches of the breast. Uh, of the blood supply to the breast is supplied by the medial memory branches and internal thoracic artery that comes from the subclavian artery and as the subclavian artery goes further and becomes the axillary artery it gives rise to the lateral branches that supply the lateral part of the breast these include the lateral thoracic artery and the thoracoacromial artery as you can see in the figure as the subclavian artery has supplied the medial and the lateral part of the breast. Now the lateral part of the breast is also supplied by the thoracic aorta and these branches are called second, third and fourth intercostal arteries. 
these are posterior intercostal arteries that originate from second third fourth intercostal spaces and supply the lateral part of the breast the venous supply corresponds to the arterial supply so the veins have the same location and names as the arteries that they follow the vein that receives most blood from the breast is the axillary vein internal thoracic vein and posterior intercostal vein also participate in some of the venous drainage but axillary vein is the most basic route breast receives its innervation from the anterior and lateral cutaneous branches of fourth fifth and sixth intercostal nerves these nerves receive the sensory supply from the skin of the breast and they deliver sympathetic innervation to the blood vessels of the breast and the smooth muscles of, of the overlying skin and nipples of the breast in the lymphatic drainage of the breast first we will discuss the lymph nodes involved and the quadrants of breast involved in with those nodes the lateral quadrants of the breast drain into axillary lymph nodes and more specifically anterior group of lymph nodes which are also known as pectoral nodes the medial quadrant of the breast drains into internal mammary nodes sometimes the inferior quadrants may drain into abdominal lymph nodes which include subdiaphragmatic inferior phrenic lymph nodes now we will discuss the lymphatics of the breast because breast is richly supplied by the lymphatics and lymphatics are important because breast cancer spreads by lymphatics so lymphatics can be divided into two major groups one group of lymphatics drains the skin over the breast except the nipple and areola and the second group involves the nipple areola and the parenchyma of the breast lymphatic drainage of the breast parenchyma drains predominantly into axillary group of lymph nodes about 75% drainage exists in them axillary lymph nodes are divided into three levels based on their position relative to pectoralis minor level 1 it is lateral to pectoralis minor as you can see in the figure level 2 is posterior to the pectoralis minor and level 3 is medial to the pectoralis minor level 3 is above in level and level 1 is below in level and level 2 is in between and it is posterior to the pectoralis minor thank you